Hi, it's Robert Trawick. Welcome to another week of Coffee Moments. We're getting set up right now to do a photo shoot at 21C in Oklahoma City. Can't show you the photos behind the scenes. Maybe I can give you some teasers later, but I got some great stuff for you this week. So we'll talk to you very soon. Hey, welcome to another episode of Coffee Moments with Robert. As you can see from this video, it's different than the intro one that we shot at 21C, so we didn't have a chance to finish those. We had a lot going on and we were on a time crunch, so we didn't finish it. So talking about time crunch, let's talk about something interesting this time. Drafting. Now, not like NFL drafting where you're being brought up to the big leagues, but something similar to that. If you follow NASCAR or if you love to drive like I do, Drafting is a technique of being behind a car, normally the lead car. They're cutting through all the air, and you're basically in a pocket of very little wind resistance. So you're, lo you're using less of your horsepower, less of your energy, less of your gas, and you're basically just riding the ass of that lead car. Hoping that that car is going to pull you around the racetrack and then right before the finish line you're going to dart out and have enough horsepower, enough juice to be able to pass him. You know, drafting happens a lot in life. So I want to address that with all the photographers out there trying to get started. It's perfectly okay to draft somebody. And draft somebody in the sense of finding someone that you admire someone that can give you a hand up or a leg up and get you moving in the right direction. A lot of times that person is going to get you in the circles that you were not normally able to do on your own or would take you a long time. Uh, might get you into uh, clients that you might not normally have access to. But with drafting, one of the most important things to remember is you've got to be ready to whenever you pull out on your own and you go, well, basically head on into the wind. You've got to be able to bust that wind on your own. So you've got to have the talent and drive to be able to make it on your own after you've drafted for a while. So there are a lot of folks out there in the photo community that, you know, these are all Robert's thoughts. If you don't agree with them, that's fine. It's perfectly okay. They're my thoughts, and I think everybody should entitled, be entitled to their own thoughts. My thought is, drafting is good. Drafting is legal in NASCAR, so how should it be illegal in the world? What happens, I think, is a lot of people out there watch other people's Facebook, and they sit around going, oh, well, you know, I could have a successful studio if I had a studio, or I could have a successful business if I had that other piece of equipment, or... I would make more money if I was able to charge $10,000 for a wedding. Let's get off our asses and quit running around thinking of the what ifs. Okay, so all I'm telling all my peeps out there is find that right person to draft, but be sure that you're able to handle it on your own when it's time for you to face the wind. There's nothing wrong with that. And then when you have an opportunity to let someone draft you, be sure that you pass it along. We're all in this boat together and we're all trying to learn how to do great photography and how to be better at business. So, you know, don't shut the barn door after you get inside the barn. That's all I'm saying. So let me give you some hints on drafting. One of the best places to draft and basically to elevate I don't want to say your status because that's probably a wrong thing to say, but a great place to elevate your skill level is to hang around people that are, well, better than you. Because if you hang around people that are not better than you, well, you're probably not going to progress because you're not drafting. You're the draftee, or I guess the drafter. I'm not really sure because my English is so poor. However, you get the meaning. So one of the great places to try and find someone to draft behind is an organization. Let's see some organizations in town. How about, uh, I'm looking at my list just because I want to remember and not get too far off track. How about the Metro Professional Photographers of America, the MPPA? 
I'm not sure if it's a pro oh, I think it's association. So that's a great organization. It's local. There are great professionals that are in this organization, and it's a great place that you can be once a month to rub elbows with some of Oklahoma City's finest. I'm not saying that everybody that's great is in that camera club, but isn't it a great place to start? And if you happen to be in the Tulsa area, how about Indian Nations PPA? That's a great place to start as well. So try and find an organization around your area that you live in and try and attend those once a month meetings so you can rub elbows with those people that are better and greater than you are so you can draft them, get a little inspiration. It's perfectly okay. It's legal. So another place is the PPA, the National Organization, Professional Photographers of America. Great organization just like WPPI, which I believe, I'm not mistaken, stands for Wedding and Portrait Photographers International. And I think it's a spinoff from the Winona School of Photography, but I could be mistaken. No, 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 I'm not. Let me have some coffee on that while you guys ponder and do some research on Wikipedia. Oh my God, that coffee is so good. And yes, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still drinking coffee because Robert requires lots of that black gold to get me going. If you're kind of similar to Robert, let me tell you where you can find me. So... You can find me at the speedlightingworkshops.com. That's the educational part that we're pushing more this year. We are in the process of planning a workshop every single month in the Oklahoma City area. I'm also traveling to other states this year and making those contacts. So if you happen to be in another state and you would like to host a speedlighting workshop, please get a hold of me right away at questions at speedlightingworkshops.com. You can also find me this week coming. Yes, this actually weekend. Uh, January 27th, I'm going to be at Photos on the Vine with Xavier and Patrice de la Paz in Fort Worth, Texas. We're going to be doing a class on Studio in a Bag, the basic gear you need to pick up and go and go create some amazing portraits. And then I'm going to be at Indian Nations PPA in Tulsa on February 13th. And we're going to talk about something very present to photographers, a little bit about social media. And the title is Social Media is Not Social. Not at all. So it's going to be a very interesting presentation. I'd love to have you guys in the Tulsa area come out to see it and to obviously mingle with some of the wonderful people that already exist in Oklahoma as well as in Tulsa. And then I'll be teaching my first Lightroom class in Oklahoma City, and that's scheduled to be on February 22nd. It's a Thursday. We don't have the prices set up, but we are going to limit it probably to 15 people or less because we are going to go in Lightroom in the sense of how to set Lightroom up, how to get your workflow, how to set up your uh, hard drives for backups, and what are some of the best practices so that you can use the most out of workflow in Lightroom. And then, of course, don't forget, we're going to be at Photocom March 10th and the 9th and the 10th with Bedfords. I'll be in Oklahoma City at the Tower Hotel. And then on Sunday, 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 right after Photocon, Jim Felder and I are going to be taking a photo facts photo walk that we're going to be calling the crazy train. We're going to grab the train from Fort Worth or from Oklahoma City to Fort Worth, Oklahoma. Oh, sorry, let me go back. I should cut that out, but I'm not going to because I don't like to edit. So we're going to grab the train from Oklahoma City at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to take it down to Fort Worth, arrive about 12. Sorry, my monitor disappeared, so I had to fire it back up. We're going to be in Fort Worth doing a photo walk, get a bite to eat, take some photos, get back on the train. I think it's around 5 o'clock, 5.15, and ride back to Oklahoma City at 9. So that'll be on Sunday. If you want to come to that event, all you have to do is buy a ticket and join us. We'll have more details about that on the website for the photofactspodcast.com. So we're trying to keep this a 10 minute so it's quick, easy, and gentle. And just a quick review, draft is legal in NASCAR, just like it is in life. Find somebody that inspires you. Find somebody that is better than you. And draft them. Learn to be better by emulating and copying so that you can develop your own style. 
it is perfectly okay. All those people out there that are hating this right now, get over yourself. Everybody's done it. Everybody will continue to do it. But just don't forget to please pay it forward. And when it's your time to let someone draft you, embrace it. Embrace it because, hey, who doesn't want to be a photographer? And who doesn't want to do this full time? So until next time, happy shooting. And be sure you guys are having your daily coffee. See you guys next week.